So, as uh, Emanuele told before, asked before, evaporation is not uh, potential evapor <coughs> evaporation. And uh, actually, evaporation and transpiration are two quite different things. I am not, here I am not solving the problem. I am just showing in few slides, making, giving you a glimpse of what is going on. I believe is a, a fi uh, this field about uh, evaporation and transpiration will be changing a lot. In this year, we have uh, some, uh, uh, some, some important paper in this year, especially by the Danny R. group and other people. So we have evaporation from soil. Evapor uh, uh, evaporation <coughs> from soil, you know, here you have uh, uh, water falling. You, you see water here, which is a semi-arid zone with brushes. At the first stage, here you have evaporation because you have water even on the surface. Evaporation is going at the potential rate. If you let me use the, the word that I introduced before. Here, the, here the, the, all, the, uh, all is uh, um, drying up and the evaporation is decaying. This is going, there is a reference here that you can read, it's pretty interesting. Or and an Lehmann, I, I will upload for you the paper. And uh, which is uh, a, a review of uh, the topics about evaporation <coughs> from soil. Uh, and uh, this is more or less what happens in stage one. Stage one, we have a uh, a constant rate of evaporation, which I, uh, we, we can think it is kind of the potential evaporation, more or less. But this is, is if you have a constant forcing on it. If you are, from when I, I, talk, uh, I start talking to, to the, uh, one hour ago from now, we pass from uh, an absence of direct radiation to direct radiation. So uh, the forcing is changing, so you are not measuring those things in the field. In the, you measure maybe in, lab, uh, in, in the lab. And uh, evaporation uh, uh, comes from a, a, front, a certain front, is connected to the structure of the soil as a, with the pores and uh, etc etc is connected to viscosity of water and uh, uh, to the fact that uh, 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 pores are uh, uh, randomly arranged inside the soil and that uh, uh, mm, there is a preferential evapor evaporation first from the largest pore and then from the smallest pore and uh, at the same time, you have a distribution inside the soil of water from the, the larger pore to the smallest one. You know, because uh, the evaporate, evaporative, you are a small pore, you are a big pore. So the force to extract water from you, which are a, a small pore, is much larger than the one I need to extract water from you. But I am the sum, I not distinguish, I, I, I am like God, I give, uh, I, I, I give uh, uh, solar radiation to you and to you at the same, at the same amount. So I, you are evaporating and he also is, is evaporating. But he is a large pore, I, I evaporate more from him and less from you. At the same time you are uh, um, uh, a strain uh, extrain water from him because uh, y your potential is uh, much depressed so there is a double action that keep you the small pore yeah the suction the suction is keeping you the small pore uh, full and uh, is uh, working to get the, the larger the large pore the large pore uh, empty <coughs> so there is a lot of complicated things uh, going on, but uh, the motion inside the pore is connected to viscosity because the viscosity is zero. The transfer from the large pore to the small pore inside the soil 
is fast, uh, is uh, infinitely fast, <laughs> and if it's not zero, is low. Uh, but uh, uh, in any case, we observe also prompts, so we have to put all, to the, all this stuff together, which is not so 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 easy. But anyway, that's it. We are at least we under uh, we understand enough of, of, of it. This is why and what is going on. For a certain time, uh, time this uh, this situation works, uh, and uh, we have this all this movement, and in any case, evaporation comes out from everywhere. Then, in the second case, evaporation decline when this type of exchanges in the soil and evaporation is not any more sustainable, some of the pores really dry out and evaporation, evaporation comes only partially. This is another question which is called the Kelvin effect. Uh, Kelvin effect meaning that uh, in, in, in the soil water is kept by capillarity and other forces actually uh, uh, water va vapor uh, equilibrium water vapor above capillaries is lower than above uh, um, free water so the more the capillary is thin the less is the water vapor in equilibrium with the, the water in the capillary this is called Kelvin effect, but this not by uh, and by is by no chance the, the main limitation in evaporation. According according to um, Hor and Gigi, or Gigi and Hor, no Lehman and Hor, anyway collaborator of Danny Hor in Zurich University. And this is uh, what happens is that at a certain point, you know, you have here the force, every pore is evaporating. Uh, up to a certain point, the, the pore evaporate, the evaporating pore more or less cover the whole surface of water. After a while, some pore can be, uh, are not activated by, from evaporation for the mechanism that I tried to illustrate to you before. Which, uh, we, which happens to be, uh, to be uh, my, my, my micro thing. And uh, therefore we have, uh, you know, you start to close some pores and, uh, and the evaporation doesn't seem to come from the, all the surfaces. So we have a decreasing of, uh, of uh, evaporation because you have less surface evaporated. <laughs> due to this internal mechanism, which is now apparently understood, but uh, frankly, I don't know how to translate into equations right now. What happens instead in, in transpiration? What happens in, tra in transpiration is that we actually have three phenomena in transpiration. We have uh, the exchange of water between uh, the soil and the roots. We have the flow of water along the stem, and we have the release of water through vapor from the stoma in the, in the, in the, in the leaves. So we have evaporation over the leaf. By the way, this, this was a, a picture of, of stoma. The stomach not only uh, evaporates, but at the same time do photosynthesis and acquire carbon. So this picture is called Show Me the Carbon. Uh, a bigger picture, uh, picture of it. This is a, the, there was a, a nice paper on by Struck, I don't remember if it is on Journal of Fluid Mechanics or, or uh, some review of geophysics. Anyway, I will give you data. This is a, 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 a things that uh, 
um, a nice picture that uh, remind of all the procedure. The the key uh, the quick question here is that uh, we we have we also we have the blood going from the uh, around our our body, but uh, we have the heart that is pumping the heart the the, 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 the blood, and but plants do not have the heart. Plants are on earth, but no, don't don't have a, a heart to to. Yeah, I don't know if I'm able to pronounce in English <laughs> these things, but, but you know, they don't have a, a some, something pumping. So what is pumping up? For instance, there are uh, 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 redwood, sequoia. They are uh, uh, 150 meters tall, which is much higher than uh, uh, it could be if it works uh, in a simple manner, meaning if it is the atmospheric pressure to push the water, let's say, on, on, the, on the trees, we should have uh, only uh, 10 meters high, uh, meter high trees. So how the waters come over there? The only forces we know that can move waters from the roots to the leaves is the uh, capillary forces and osmotic forces. And then you have also to remind that actually in trees, uh, you, we have the flow from the root to, to the leaves, but we need also to have the movements from the leaves to the roots. Because when sugar is, <coughs> carbohydrates are produced in the leaves, they have to move back to the roots or other places uh, in the, the stem to, bleed, to build the uh, to build the branch, to build the other leaves, to build to so th the, there is a circulation that also has to uh, to go in the other way. So the one that pumps up is the xylem, and the one that goes down is the phloem. And so we have capillary and um, and um, osmotic forces. The the main idea is whatever it is is there is a, bit, a different impressions but is mainly capillary, a sort of capillary uh, depression, which is meaning, and it's called cohesion tension theory, which looks very strange, actually. Uh, the water vapor in the air has a very low pressure. is because it's anyway, let's say, minus, uh, minus 1,000, um, megapascal and the water in 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 the soil is let's say more, more or less one minus one hectopascal minus one atmosphere in pressure so in this difference we can find something that push water actually not push push was the wrong uh, wrong word but uh, 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 pull, <coughs> pull up the water. Mm -hmm. So in plants, actually, in uh, you can measure on average many many of these things, and uh, here you can have uh, different landscapes. And this is also from Struck, the Struck paper, um, different landscape and different elevation, and we have the difference of. of let's say 30 megapascals. So 30 megapascal is uh, uh, something like 300 atmosphere in terms of pressures. So what happens, in, happens inside the plants is that the, um, the water is in extremely high tension, very ne negative pressure actually, much below the, the tension the, uh, the vapor, vapor tension. So you know that um, uh, when we have um, vapor, the vapor pressure, the water should start bubbling and uh, produce water vapor inside. But uh, if it start bubbling, you have bubbles of water vapor and this uh, cut the, f the flux. So plants has to have a system to uh, uh, to 
works against the embolism formation of this embols, embolis, embol, whatever. <laughs> These bubbles inside is, uh, should be prevented by some mechanism of which we don't not, not, know very much actually. This is a bigger picture of, of the same thing to see. Okay, the, the original figure, the figure was Scholander uh, 65, but then uh, this uh, theory seems to stra uh, se seems a little strange. So it was questioned in, in let's say, uh, 20 years ago, and then a lot of works uh, <laughs> made to support it again. So the theory right now in this paper also by Struck and other by uh, by co-workers of Struck's also uh, tend to demonstrate that the cohesion tension is the way that, that water moves up on the plants. And then it arrives to the leaves, where the leaf, this is a, a section of a leaf, and uh, here you have a low water, uh, low water pressure, and you have your higher water pressure there, and you have a flux. And this flux inside the stoma is uh, is driving all the flux, all, 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 all the movement up. Stoma are the critical aspect of it, and uh, we don't understand how they open and close exactly. We have ideas of uh, um, how they do, and uh, but for in our purposes, all of this is uh, just condensated in those parameters. CE or RG that we saw in the previous formula. So you think that in, the, in those small numbers that we are giving, there is a full world of research that is uh, still to be opened clearly. So that's the message. If someone wants to wants to work on, on this side of things, there is a lot to put together. Well, we have a, a lot of knowledge uh, actually, but uh, we still do we are not putting all the streamlining from, let's say, the idea, the concept, and the models that we have. So maybe here I can stop you.